Hello there, YouTube. Wanted to show. The wife was watching Ellen one day, and I seen these. Now I can't pronounce any of these names, but it's in the description. This is a four-inch paring knife. They're still in the package. This was about eight dollars, if I remember right. Solid stainless handle, stainless. Made across the way over there, not made in USA, but I was so pleased with the first one that I bought, which I'll show it last, that I went and got the other two. This is probably like $8. This is $10. Serrated, 6 inch serrated knife. One piece, the way they weld it, you can almost see how they put it together when you see that this is hollow. The lighting out here is terrible. That's the six inch straight in. Four inch. It's not really a review. It's just I want to show how much I liked it. Okay, now this one is the one that got my attention. There's no way I'm going to try to pronounce that. Okay. This is why I bought it. I have a chef's knife, which is probably a $40 chef's knife. I've already scratched it. But you handle rubbing alcohol to get the glue off. Don't do what I did. You can take the stick off, use some rubbing alcohol, lighter fluid, something to get that thing off. But I like this. It has a curve to it. You chop your carrots, celery, and veggies. I like my chef's knife, but it seems to get to where your hand almost hits the counter. Your chopping board before you get all the way down with my big hands. This works a lot better. I like this. If I was going to go out and live in the woods in a log cabin, I'd want to at least take these three knives for me to use in the kitchen area. In a survival situation, I would take them. I'm not very good at sharpening knives. I do not know how to use a whetstone or any of that. I have used, like I said, little diamond files, everything to try to hone an edge back onto a knife. This is sharp. Not much, not much thickness to this blade. I can measure it. It's only a few millimeters. I'm guessing that's only two millimeters. Because it's not an eighth of an inch and it's over a sixteenth. So, the way stuff's made magic now. This is the one that caught my attention. This was eighteen bucks. And I don't buy a lot of tools. I don't buy a lot of stuff. This caught my attention. I had to have this. I had the money, I had to have it. So we just happened to go back a week later, I got the other two. That's what got me wanting to get the other two. So I figured they're as good a quality as this. You're not going to buy much of a knife nowadays. I had to have this. I had to have the paring knife, which who knows why I need it. I've got paring knives and all kinds of different knives for the kitchen. This is what I like. I do have a big bread knife, like you have... Uh, loaf of bread, you got a slice of homemade bread. Well, there's a lot of times that you got to drag, <coughs> excuse me, you have to drag it out. It's like a foot long. It's a big old knife. This is going to come in more handy for that. That's all this is probably used for is cutting through bread or something. Because so I have sharp knives for cutting up meat. But I figured that'd be handy. I don't, I'm sure they, maybe they expect you to keep that on there for some reason if you don't have a knife holder, but I've made holders out of cardboard before to put my knives in when they go down in the utility drawer. Everybody has a junk drawer, and I have different stuff in there, so nobody gets cut, I'll make a sleeve out of cardboard, even if it's cereal box, something wicked old, they antique butcher knife or something. But it reminded me of the old curved butcher knife, the Green River knife, which I have one that has the brass wire in there instead of rivets where they put it together and that's ancient. But it reminded me of that. Curved. But they were really ridiculously curved. They were a butcher knife. But was that I really like that. When you come down, you're starting here, you can get a lot of chop through there before your hand even hits the chopping board. To me this stuff's kinda like a tool. 
you know, kitchen utensils. To me, it's a tool. I'm a guy, it's a tool. I need a tool. I need a tool in the kitchen that I can use that's comfortable. But don't do like I did. It's going to be scratched up. It's going to have the scrub pad on there once in a while, but I don't worry about scratches on stuff. Tools are meant to be used. But one more look at it so you can see the difference in the size. The 4 inch to the 6 inch. Turns so it don't get so much glare. I'll have the name in there because I can't pronounce it and I'm not going to try to. So I'll just type it. It'll be typed in the title of it. Thanks for watching.